Hello and thank you for listening to this update on our regional drilling at the Malina Gold Project. The results we've released today are from the Charity Well and GEMA's targets which are located on a structural trend in the west of our Malina tenement package. Charity Well is north of Taurana and Jima's 12 kilometres to the west. Taurana was the first intrusion hosted deposit discovered at Malina and ultimately contributed to the discovery of HEMI. We've outlined a 524,000 ounce resource at Taurana, most of which will fall into an open pit with around 60,000 ounces included in a higher grade underground resource. Taurana is the largest deposit discovered outside of HEMI at Malina to date. Charity Well and GEMAs sit in a similar geological setting to Taurana and our exploration strategy is targeted towards large scale mineralised intrusions in favourable structural settings. Activity is just starting to ramp up in this western end of the project after ethnographic and archaeological surveys were completed with people from the Nyalama community and De Grey over the second half of last year. This is the first time we've been able to complete drilling in this part of the tenement package since the discovery of HEMI, so we're looking forward to seeing what the next 12 months could produce. First pass air core and RC drilling has been completed, the results of which we're reporting today. Historic rab drilling at Charity Well had outlined an intrusion over a strike of about 500 metres. Air core and RC drilling completed by De Grey has now doubled that prospective strike to one kilometre and confirmed mineralisation from near surface down to depths of around 300 metres. The figure shows structures extending through the Charity Well intrusion which link up with a withnal trend to the northeast. RC drilling has been completed across six 200 metre space lines and further results are expected this quarter, including for 10 holes that have intersected the intrusion. Mineralisation remains open to the northeast and at depth. At the current 200 metre drill space in Tarana would almost fit between these drill lines at Charity Well. The strongest mineralisation return to date has come from the easternmost line drilled on section 593135 east towards the interpreted centre of the intrusion and we'll have a look at a cross section from this area now. Much like Tarana, early indications are that gold mineralisation at Charity Well is hosted within intervals of predominantly shallow dipping quartz pyrite arsenopyrite veins within broad envelopes of strong sericite alteration in both the intrusion and adjacent sediments. As you can see in the cross section, we have mineralisation starting from as shallow as 10 metres, which was picked up in air core drilling and at further depth with RC holes. RC hole MWRC 264 returned multiple mineralised intersections throughout the intrusion starting with 18 metres at 1.5 grams per tonne gold from 23 metres, 6 metres at 2.8 grams per tonne from 139 metres and 13 metres at 1.1 grams per tonne gold from 221 metres. Outside the intrusion the sediments, drill hole NWRC 263 intersected 15 metres at 1.1 grams per tonne gold from 80 81 metres. At GEMAs further to the west, the intrusion has been confirmed as having a strike length in the order of 800 metres and is 300 metres wide with multiple smaller subordinate intrusions identified nearby as you can see in the diagram. RC drilling has been completed across five 200 metre space sections at the main target area to follow up on earlier shallow scout air core drilling. Mineralisation intersecting the RC to date at GEMAs is narrower but also hosted within intervals of predominantly shallow dipping quartz pyrite arsenopyrite veins within broader envelopes of strong sericite alteration in the target intrusion. We've intersected mineralisation from near surface down to depths approaching 100 metres from surface including 1 metre at 4.5 grams per tonne gold from 33 metres and 5 metres at 2.2 in hole MWRC202. 2 metres at 1.4 grams per tonne gold from 97, 97 metres in MWRC204 and 2 metres at 1.81 grams per tonne gold from 70 metres in MWRC205. Further drilling at Charity Well and GEMAs is proposed for the second half of the year after all assay results have been returned and interpreted. Thanks Phil. We have now completed the resource definition drilling required for the mineral resource estimate update due in the June quarter. Geotechnical, metallurgical and hydrological drilling required for the pre-feasibility study during the September quarter have also been completed. We utilised up to 16 rigs across the project in the March quarter and this has now been dropped back to 11 rigs. Diamond rigs will now focus on resource extensions 
and deeper conceptual targets at HEMI. Aircore and RC rigs are focused on discovering near-surface intrusion-hosted gold deposits in the greater HEMI and regional areas. We will be testing more regional targets like Charitywell and GEMAS over the course of 2022 and into 2023. The resource definition drilling at HEMI over the past six to nine months has been designed to upgrade inferred classified resources to higher jaw classification indicated resources. This is targeting the dual aims of increasing the production profile for the PFS and confidence level. Since the start of the year, we've released some exciting resource definition and extensional drilling results, particularly at Brolga, Dukon and Falcon. These results have been pointing to potentially higher grades coming from these deposits than in the maiden mineral resource estimate last year and scoping study. We've recently appointed engineering firm Wood Group to complete the process engineering work for the PFS. Our work on the preferred options for the commutation circuit and oxidation process is nearing completion and I expect we'll have more to say on that in the coming weeks. The pre-feasibility study is on track for release in the September quarter and we're still aiming to capture some upside opportunities outlined in the scoping study and to deliver improved metrics in the PFS compared with the scoping study. As you can see, we have a very busy few months ahead of us and I look forward to keeping you updated on our progress.